my name is Austin Samet. I'm a second year grad student at the university in the plant science department. Um, my major is uh, in agronomy. My research is in sunflowers, both confection and oilseed sunflowers. I have two locations of my study. One is in Powell, Wyoming under full irrigation. The other study is replicated in Sheridan, Wyoming. However, that is under complete rain fed. Um, our study is a variety trial. So I've got three oilseed varieties, which are Sierra, um, we call this the X9452. Uh, we got Defender, are my oilseed varieties. The other two varieties are uh, confection seed sunflowers. This is Dal Green 9579 and Dal Green 9512. Um, and the third component of the study is different rates of nitrogen. So we're using in PAL, we're using a pre plant of 75 pounds per acre. And then we're increasing um, three times. Uh, well, we're increase the the max will be to a 300 pounds per acre. So we'll be using 75, 150, 225, and then 300 pounds. In Sheridan, we're using a zero preplant, and then 75, 150, and 225 pounds per acre to see if the um, different rates of nitrogen affects yield, affects sunflower head, affects uh, seed size in the confection varieties, as well as oil quality in the oilseed varieties. Um, and and uh, why the difference in, irri in irrigation? Was, uh, um, the idea there is to see the different possibilities in the Wyoming and in, in the, the northern Wyoming region to see what our limitations are for growing sunflowers. Currently, right now, the only sunflowers being produced are generally here in the Bighorn Basin, and they're all confection seed varieties under pivots or flood irrigation. Um, so we're seeing about the possibilities of being able to produce oil seed for one, and then what are our yields going to look like if we want to incorporate dry land sunflower farming into rotations. Um, this gives farmers a lot more variability in like, you know, what kind of crops they can grow. Um, different markets uh, with all the fluctuations. The ability to harvest and still incorporate the, the stocks back into the ground. So there's a lot of um, questions about what, how is this, how are these varieties, how are these oilseed and confection sunflowers going to do, how are they going to produce in northern Wyoming, and what kind of fertilizer rates are we looking at, what kind of um, yields are we going to get with a different irrigation and the different climates in the area. Great. And um, do you have any results to talk about yet? We do. We do have some results. So this is one year's worth of data. It's very preliminary. Um, I'm again repeating the study this year. I do not have my oil seed quality data yet back from the lab, and I do not have my seed size and seed quality data for the confection varieties. However, I do have data that, um, would, that's telling me currently right now, nitrogen is not having an effect on yield. Um, and sunflower seeds, or the sunflower head size, so the diameter of the head. However, we are seeing incredible differences, of course, between PAL and Sheridan just due to water. So the, the study in PAL that is uh, under full irrigation is having significantly higher yields than we're seeing in uh, Sheridan. But, however, our head sizes are generally the same across the board. We're seeing that in, um, in uh, regardless of location, that the, uh, the oil seed varieties are having larger head sizes than our confection seed varieties. And that's uh, regardless of location, regardless of amount of water, that's just the oil seed heads are bigger than the confection seed heads. Um, here's our yield data from both locations, so you can see the significant difference of yield in PAL. But in, in PAL, we're seeing the higher yields are generally in, in the, the confection varieties. However, in Sheridan, our higher yields are in the two um, oilseed varieties. So we have some interesting data there. 
And then this is our 100 seed weight, which is pretty respective across, you know, PAL having higher um, higher seed weights than, uh, than Sheridan due to the, the irrigation. And um, our confection seeds, you can tell here, those these two ones are the ones that are heavier. They're bigger seeds, and that is because they are confection varieties. So um, that's what we have now. I'm waiting to get my bat data back from the lab to see about the oil quality, to see if uh, our nitrogen is going to affect the quality of the oil seed with past studies or other studies. Um, the increase or at the higher rates of nitrogen, your oil quality decreases. So we're looking to see possibly um, possibly a trend along that line. And with our seed quality, we are seeing or we're, we're trying to determine if the effects of nitrogen are also going to affect your seed size and seed fill for the confection varieties. Sunflowers do not fix nitrogen. Sunflowers have a very intense root system. They can dig down deep into the soil and pull nitrogen from really far depths of the, of the soil profile. So they're very adequate at obtaining nitrogen through the soil. So it'll be interesting also to see, I mean, it's interesting to see the fact that um, with only 75 pounds or zero pounds applied versus 300, that we're not seeing any difference in uh, yield. So oil is doing better under the rain-fed conditions. Currently, right now, what we can speculate is that that might be the best option if you have limited <laughs> irrigation available to you. Um, here in the Bighorn Basin and uh, with, with the irrigation, our confection varieties are doing better. Uh, we'll see, in the, with the nitrogen recommendations, it's best, and this is what they've kind of uh, advised in the past that you want to apply a pre-plant um, one time about 75 to maybe 100 pounds of nitrogen and that's kind of your all that's really going to probably be required um, and that's kind of following the trend that we're seeing now with the data so we'll see what this year brings and if that changes but um, our speculations are is that once you get past that 100 or 150 pounds breaker, it's, it's not really going to affect, it's going to be a waste of money and, and farmers aren't going to want to do side dress applications, it's not really going to be beneficial to them and they're not going to see the increase in yield that they would like to see. So, I do believe uh, that the you that the oil quality or the oil uh, you get paid more for oil the oil like if the oil content is of really good quality um, the oil pays more than the confection seed um, however I don't I'm not confident with the or you know the economic portion of it all um, here in the Bighorn Basin we have a lot of the confection seed growers they have a place to deliver that seed so that plays a big role um, the question now is is if people want to get into the oil seed if the I mean if there is that economic benefit to growing oil seed over confection where are they going to take their oil seed? Who's going to process that seed for them? Um, and who's going to pay them? They're, that's the, the question here in the area now is what to do with the seed if we want to grow it. So.